all around the world from the crystal clear waters of the Caribbean to the brilliantly blue sky surrounding Belize. The British channels, or more unknown destinations with emerald peaks straight out of Jurassic Park, businessmen, moguls and movie stars call small and large private pieces of paradise their home away from home. From Sir Richard Branson to Steven Spielberg and Johnny Depp, here are 15 wild islands reserved only for the rich and famous. Fifteen, Heart-Shaped Island A former Hollywood power couple tried to keep their love alive by investing in an island shaped like a heart not far from the coast of New York. This private paradise was only a 15-minute helicopter ride from the mainland. Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt came smitten with the 5,000-square-foot mansion and its accompanying 1,200-square-foot mini-mansion, used as the main guest house. To add character, the architecture of the house was designed in a way to make the house pop up close, but blend into the surrounded 200-year beech trees when looking at the property from afar. The entire island is 11 acres wide, with a price tag of $19.9 million. 14. Scorpios Island Located off the coast of Greece is a happy haven that was home to the late Greek shipping billionaire Aristotle Onassis. Up until very recently, the island remained in the family, per the orders of Onassis' will, steadfast in the hand of his granddaughter, Athena, that is, until she broke the oath and sold the property to heiress Ekaterina Rybolovlev, daughter of Russian billionaire Dmitry Rybolovlev, in 2013 for a price reported to be about $150 million. The 74-acre private Greek island in the Ionian Sea off the west coast of the mainland is still a highly coveted retreat. Famous faces such as Bill Gates, Giorgio Armani and Madonna have all been spotted in recent years on the small plot of land. One of the most notable events on the island was the highly publicised wedding of Anastasis to former United States First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy in 1968. 13. Tetiaroa Who ever said money can't buy happiness? For iconic silver screen actor Marlon Brando, it brought him love. And a small island too. Located in French Polynesia, in an area known as the grandfather of private islands, is a region named Tetiaroa. Among these tropical atolls sits an island named Desire, owned by Brando himself and the site of many of his films, as well as the courtship of his third wife. Today, the island hosts a luxury resort which holds several awards for being the most high-class and eco-friendly resort in the world. For only $12,400 per night, the less rich and famous may stay here too. OK, the slightly less rich and famous. 12. Leaf K Actor Nicolas Cage has always kept his personal life pretty private, so it only makes sense that few know about his private island as well. Leaf K is an Eximus island in the Bahamas, that is, one of the 365 small islands in the Exima chain, an archipelago that begins 35 miles southeast Nassau. Here the lush landscape boasts everything one could expect from paradise. The 45-acre haven offers translucent waters, private coves surrounded by coconut-clad white sand beaches, perfect fishing conditions and sheltered anchorage. The picturesque landscape isn't hindered by man-made structures, and it remains undeveloped in order to maintain its rugged sense of charm and adventure. With an estimated value of $7 million, the island comes with another huge perk. Captain Jack Sparrow, who takes up residence next door. If you haven't already, please take a moment to subscribe to What Lurks Below, and be sure to hit the bell to get notified of new releases. 11. Little Halls Pond K Johnny Depp has his own private getaway, and it's the island next to actor Nicolas Cage's, called Little Halls Pond K in the beautiful Bahamas. Inspired by this tropical area while filming the famed Pirates of the Caribbean, this $3.6 million piece of paradise hosts six private beaches, which the legendary actor named after people he loves. Gonzo, Brando, Paradis, Jack and his daughter Lily Rose, to name a few. As the island is known to have some of the most beautiful coral reefs in the world, snorkelling and fishing are some of Depp's favourite pastimes, while away it is private home away from home. 
10. Black and OK. The next star made a titanic purchase for $1.75 million when he bought an island in the crystal blue waters of Belize. The secluded sanctuary is 105 acres and is located near the legendary Barrier Reef. Here DiCaprio capitalizes on what he is most passionate about, the environment. His island is a thriving eco-village intended to teach people about the importance of caring for the environment as well as allow visitors to see how beautiful nature can be in its own element. The Academy Award winner scores Best Humanitarian on this one, as half of his humble abode is a protected wildlife reserve, and the other half features above-water bungalows inspired by ancient Mayan architecture. 9. Mago Island Mel Gibson has many passions, and owning one of the largest islands in the Pacific Ocean is one of them. When the actor bought the 54,000-acre island near Fiji from a Japanese businessman, he disregarded the controversial history at hand. For one, descendants of the native inhabitants were relocated off the island in the 19th century and have since highly protested the movie mogul's presence. Second, the area was both a cotton and sugar plantation in the 1800s. Despite the ghosts of the past, Gibson went through grave efforts to stake his claim and revamp the region while giving the island a more modern and sophisticated look and feel. For $15 million, Hollywood star left a large portion of the paradise untouched, save for the modest home in the center of a sprawling golf course. 8. Undisclosed Islands off the coast of Portugal It makes sense that the director of Jurassic Park would own two mysterious islands nestled among a group of volcanic outcrops. Off the coast of Portugal, near the Madeira archipelago, lie two islands that are melded into one through an underwater connection. While the iconic movie guru didn't buy these plots of land near his other Hollywood peers, in popular locations like Belize or the Bahamas, rumor has it that the film legend will begin developing a unique getaway for his own family and friends. While the project won't be as monumental as a resort, it will be slightly bigger than a modern home. At least that's what speculators can guess from any project manned by someone like Spielberg. 7. The Island of Lanai Billionaire Lawrence J. Ellison topped the charts for most impressive buys when he bought nearly all of the Hawaiian island Lanai in 2012. The owner of the technology and software company Oracle purchased the region for a reported $300 million. His ownership spans 98% of the tropical haven, also known as Pineapple Island, as the region was once considered one of the world's top suppliers of pineapples. Today, the area acts as a premier tourist destination and better quality of life for the locals who live there, as Ellison continues to transform the island into an economically viable and completely green community. The plan is to turn Lanai into a prosperous and sustainable Eden in the Pacific, claims the owner, which will include everything from renewable energy to charging stations for electric cars and the exportation of gourmet produce, as well as organic wineries. 6. Brakow, Channel Islands Two identical twins, and British billionaires David and Frederick Barclay, are known to be fiercely protective of their private lives. When they bought a remote island getaway in 1993, however, the two titans of industry spent a good 20 years reinventing the islands to make one of the most ambitious landscape makeover operations in the British Isles. The brothers, famous for their assets in major newspapers and luxury hotels, turned the island of Brecau, located not far from the Normandy coast of France, into a haven for lovers of medieval history. Here, public day tours showcase a massive Gothic-style castle, complete with turrets and towers, numerous swimming pools, a carp pond with a bridge modelled after Monet's at Giverny, and a helipad, a horde of olive trees, a vineyard, and a heaping landscape adorned with gardens hosting thousands of species of plants. 5. Lavkala Island, Fiji The next one is a retreat so lavish, it'll give you wings. At least that's what Austrian energy drink tycoon Dietrich Maitschitz boasts about his island refuge turned resort. Laukala is a seven square mile private arena in the middle of the South Pacific Sea in Fiji. Famous for its deserted white sand beaches, wild orchids, and endless jungle landscape, the billionaire co founder of Red Bull purchased the Fijian island from the estate of Malcolm Forbes in the early 2000s. Since he has rendered the sanctuary a tropical hideaway with 
unbeatable levels of sophistication and privacy. Visitors can feast their eyes on coconut groves, which fan personal villas ringed by the open rainforest, with unparalleled views of the sparkling sea, bars, nightlife and other amenities, offer beachside barbecues, water sports, golf and horseback riding. A perk is the unique coral reefs which promise face-to-face -face encounters with wonders such as the angelfish. What's more, to ensure stress-free exploration around the island, each villa comes equipped with their own personal buggy. 4. St. Philip's Island In 1979, the year before launching CNN, media mogul Ted Turner purchased the South Carolina Islands for $2 million. The 5,000-acre St. Philip's private paradise hosts two miles of sandy beaches, maritime forests and lush lagoons. If that weren't enough, Turner also purchased a 298-acre landing area on the neighbouring St. Helena Island. Here, the philanthropist, along with family and friends, can partake in pastimes such as sailing, fishing and entertaining others on this perfect plot of land in between the bustling seaports of Charleston and Savannah. The pristine piece of paradise is protected under a conservation easement with the Nature Conservancy. Yet today, the property has a sales tag of $23.8 million, as Turner hopes another family can enjoy the natural oasis as much as his own loved ones have. 3. New Holland Island Some islands live in canals too. Take New Holland, for example, a small, man-made atoll on a canal in the heart of St. Petersburg, Russia. Originally conceived by Peter the Great for the Navy and inaccessible to the public for centuries, the island is now open to the community, with every social amenity one could imagine. Russian billionaire Roman Abramovich entered into a 100-year lease agreement with New York-based architecture and urban design practice Work Architecture Company. Together, the union agreed to transform the island into an urban playground and cultural centre, booming with cafes, galleries, retail stores, hotels, offices, housing, public parks and a myriad of other communal benefits. One of the main highlights is an expansive contemporary art museum worth $400,000, which hosts its own launch pad for a hot air balloon. From above, visitors can gaze at the metropolis below in the comfort of their own floating balcony. 2. Necker Island Purchased for $200,000 in the 1970s, today, Sir Richard Branson, highly influential investor and, and philanthropist, rents his British Virgin Islands out for a hefty $62,000 per night. The entrepreneur for over 40 businesses in the Virgin Group, including Virgin Records and Virgin Airlines, agreed upon sale to turn the private abode into a luxury resort. These 74 acres, located in the Caribbean Eden, sleeps 28 people and hosts a total of 10 rooms. The idyllic island paradise holds insightful beauty, as this playground in paradise offers two private beaches, numerous pools, tennis courts, a personal chef and a staff of 60. The island, like many others, is committed to sustainable development as well as energy independence. 1. Musha Kay The mind-blowing magician has it all. Wealth, fame and a whole string of islands in the Bahamas. David Copperfield purchased the quartet of atolls, but only one stands out from the rest. Musha Kay, which features a highly developed resort that was bought to ensure guests receive only the most private and serene experience. After all, the cost to stay here is a whopping $37,500 a night. But for the price, one is equipped with two separate villas on a 150-acre developed island. Here, one can find air-conditioned rooms, flat-screen TVs, and what better than a 24-hour butler service at your beck and call? If that weren't enough, a personal chef provides around-the-clock Caribbean cuisine to suit guests' breakfast, lunch and dinner needs. Travellers can enjoy an easy jaunt to the string of 10 other islands owned by Copperfield, which are all located 85 miles from Nassau. The area is a famous getaway destination for celebrities, such as daytime talk show icon Oprah Winfrey and technology titan Bill Gates. With the main island accommodating up to 24 guests at a time, it's so charming even Penelope Cruz and Javier Bardem married there in 2010. Which island investment is the most impressive? Secluded sanctuaries reserved for family and friends or eco-friendly luxury resorts? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to What Lurks Below.